Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to assemble this filter. Um, we've got the main canister body, we've got the canister cap, um, we've got the filter holder and the filter ring, um, and you actually need two of each of these for the complete filter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've cut some pieces of filter paper from an AC vent filter. You could really use anything, but you know, the more effective it is at stopping particles, the better it's going to work, obviously. So I like to take two layers of this, put it over the filter holder, and then take the filter ring and sandwich it in there. It takes a little bit of force to do this, but once you do, you should have something like this. Okay, we'll take a pair of safety scissors, just trim the excess real fast. done a second one as well um, just so that I didn't have to get that on video um, so what you're gonna do is take one screw it all the way down into the canister body um, you can use these little ridges it's a little tough on the fingers but a little bit of force. It's not too bad. You want to get it all the way down into the end of the canister as far as it'll go. That's about it. So it should look like that. Then we're going to take some activated carbon or activated charcoal. I just got this from an aquarium filter. Um, but there's probably higher quality stuff out there. But I'm gonna pour that in here. Um, how much you use will kind of determine how effective this is. This actually probably isn't quite enough, but for demonstration purposes, it's fine. Then we'll take our second filter and screw it on just like the last one. And we'll screw it right down to the level of the charcoal. You can even use it to compress the charcoal just a little bit. Uh, and what I just did there is um, something you don't wanna do. Uh, I stuck my fingers a little bit too far through these holes and push the filter ring out, but that's okay. In reality, I would want to redo that, but just to show you all how to do it, it's no big deal. Um, then we'll take our canister cap and just screw it on. If you wanted to make this a little bit more airtight, you could take some Teflon tape, like some the kind you would use on PVC pipe to make an airtight seal, and you could put it around these threads right here. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but just know you could do that. Okay, and that is the completed filter. Uh, so let me just show you, it does screw into a gas mask, anything with a 40 millimeter port. So this is a normal Israeli filter, um, and these threads work just the same. Just screw it on there nice and tight, and that should be good to go.